quartiles of a group data. For example, we are asked to find the value of Q sub 1 or the lower quartile of a group data. Okay, so again, same yung mga steps na gagamitin natin, fix ng ating mga procedures. Para hindi tayo malito, is mas maganda kung gagamitin natin lahat or ibibigay natin lahat ng mga numbers na kailangan natin. Okay, so again, yung first step natin is to accomplish our table since ang formula natin ay similar lang sa formula ng median of uh, data set. So, ang first thing na kailangan natin is yung value ng ating class boundary or x sub lb. Okay? So, yung class boundary natin, again, ito lang yung value na naglalay between your class limits. So, for example, sa ating first limit na 300 to 324, ano yung number na nasa gitna bago mag 325 up to 349. Okay? So, ang technique dito is to simply subtract 0.5 sa ating smaller limit. So, for example, Kay 300 to 324, yung mas maliit na number doon ay 300. So, minus mo lang siya ng 0.5. Kaya, our first class boundary here is 299.5. And then, the rest will follow na. So, subtract mo lang siya ng 0.5. Yun yung ating technique. So, for 325, we have 324.5. For 350, we have 349.5. For 375, we have 374.5. For 400, we have 399.5. We have 424.5 para kay 425 and 449.5 for 450. Okay, so yun yung pinaka first um, step natin. So after natin ma-provide lahat ng values ng ating x sub lb or class boundary, syempre kailangan din natin ng value of your cumulative frequency or CF. Okay? So ating cumulative frequency, again, mag-start tayo sa pinakamaliit na class limit. So yung kanyang frequency, yung unang kukopihin natin and then i-add natin sa mga susunod pa na mga frequencies. So sa ating mga class limits, it's either our first or last limit lang yung ating pagbabatayan. Since yung first limit natin yung pinakamaliit, which is 300 to 324. So ang frequency niya, which is 8, dun tayo magsisimula. Okay? So again, let's copy the value of 8. And then, i-add lang natin siya sa mga susunod ng mga frequencies natin. So, we have 8 plus 5, that is 13. 13 plus 5, that is 18. 18 plus 7, that is 25. 25 plus 7, that is 32. 32 plus 6, that is 38. And then, 38 plus 12, that is equals to 50. Again, kung gusto mong i-double check yung cumulative frequency mo, dapat yung last cumulative frequency mo ay equal sa ating total number of observations. Kapag equal yan, that means correct yung ating mga cumulative frequency. Okay? So, ang next step natin, syempre, is to write our formula. So, again, if you want to research or may mga iba't ibang mga references na iba-iba yung mga formula makikita natin. Pero, iisa lang naman yung pinaka-build nun. So, that is the concept, the median of a data set. Kaya, yung gagamitin natin, again, for the value of quartile, since under tayo ng quartile, so, Q sub K, so, the formula is equal to X sub LB, okay, plus the value of I, times n times k divided by 4. So, this time, i-divide natin yung value ng n times k sa value of 4. Okay? So, kaya, kaya yan value of 4 kasi quartiles lang tayo. So, quartal is dividing a data set into 4 equal parts. Kaya, divided by 4 siya. So, minus tayo kay CF sub B or cumulative frequency before our quartile class. And then, di-divide natin siya lahat kay value of F or the frequency of our quartile class. Since the mention ng quartile class, yun yung next na hanapin natin. So, gamit yung portion nating formula which is n times k divided by 4. So, hanapin natin yung location ng ating q sub 1 or first quartile. Okay? So, again, q sub 1 is equals to n times k divided by 4. So, the value of n is 50 and the value of k is 1 divided by 4. Okay, so 50 times 1 divided by 4. So the value is equals to um, 12.5, right? So in 12.5 natin, again, siya yung magsiserve as our um, sign okay, or signal kung nasaan yung magiging quartile class natin. So titingin tayo lahat ngayon sa ating um, pinaka cumulative frequencies. Okay, so nakanino dito, oh, sino sa mga cumulative frequencies na to um, na bebelo or nababahaan bahagi, okay? Nababahagi yung ating 12.4. Saan siya kabilang? Ayan, yung term. So, syempre, so, obviously, yung value or nearest value kay 12.4 ay yung value of 13. Okay? So, cover din ni, 12, ni 13 si 12.4. So, that means yung portion na to ng ating mismo table, okay? Yun yung mag-serve as our quartile class. 
So, in other words, yung value ng ating D sub 1 or Q sub 1, okay? Yung value ng Q sub 1 ay nasa limit lang na yan. Okay? So, again, pwede ka na mag-proceed sa pag-substitute ng value sa ating formula. Pero para mas um, make sure natin na tama yung values na ginagamit natin, ilista muna natin yung mga given natin. So, again, ang final answer natin dito ay dapat nasa limit of 325 Okay, 2, 349. Dapat yung sagot natin nandito lang sa medium or sa interval na to. Okay? And then the value of x sub LB or the lower class boundary according sa ating given, x sub LB is equals to 324.5. And then next is the value of our cumulative frequency okay, or CF sub B. Since sa cumulative frequency natin sa ating percent or decimal class okay, or quartile class by the way, so that is quartile, ay yung value of 13. So, ano yung value bago siya? Bago naging 13. So, obviously, that is our value or the first value that is the value of 8. Okay? So, ang CF sub B natin ay equal kay 8. And the next is yung value ng ating frequency. Okay? Frequency of our quartile class. So, ang frequency niya ay nandito lang sa ating mismo table. That is the value of 5. So, let's copy the value of 5. And then last is the value of I. Again, yung i natin ay numbers um, na nasa loob ng ating mismong limit. Okay, ilang numbers meron doon? So, obviously, pag sinubtract natin yung 324 kay 300, the value is 24. Now, again, don't forget to add 1 para makuha mo yung total numbers na meron sa class limit or interval na yan. So, therefore, 24 plus 1, that is equals to 25. And that's it. So, ito na yung pinakamagiging content or values or given sa ating mismong problem. So, para sa value of Q sub 1 or the lower quartile, again, that is equals to um, X sub LB or the lower class boundary, that is 324.5. So, 0.5 plus the value of I, according to our solution, I is equals to 25 times N times K divided by 4. So, according sa ating previous solution, N times K divided by 4 is equals to 12.4. So, copy na natin yung 12.4. So, that is 12.4 minus the cumulative frequency before. So, that is the value of 8. And then, divide natin siya sa frequency natin, which is equals to 5. And that's it. So, yun yung pinaka working equation natin ngayon. Okay? So, we have 12.4. Para mas masimplify natin ito na mas maayos, simulan mo sa pinaka values sa parenthesis natin. So, we have 12.4 minus 8. And then, divide natin yung pinaka difference kay 5. So, we have 0.88 and then, i-multiply natin siya kay 25, that is 22, and then, i-add natin siya kay 324.5. So, the value, okay, of Q sub 1 or the first quartile of our group data, okay, that is equals to 346.5 or approximately the value of 347. So, that is our final answer. Okay, thank you so much and God bless.